Just yesterday, Total Kenya signing an agreement with the Kenyan government for a sharing agreement to explore oil offshore in Lamu. What are the significance of all these developments, do you think? Uh, thank you, Larry. Um, obviously, um, I think it's good news that we struck uh, oil uh, earlier in the year in March. Um, as a result, it's obvious that uh, we are slowly being uh, declassified or no longer being classified, or at least chances are we no longer be classified as a frontier area, which means that we are, the region is actually attracting uh, major oil companies to come and uh, prospect for oil and gas uh, here in the region, as you have seen with uh, the signing up of the agreement yesterday uh, with Total, which is a really a major player. So we have oil all over East Africa, natural gas even in Tanzania. Kenya is said to have perhaps the largest deposits of oil, but when do we start exploiting this? Uh, Larry, in the spirit of uh, managing expectations, remember that uh, we are still uh, awaiting really additional information as to the, the, the commercial viability in terms of the reserves that are available in Kenya, uh, which means that um, exploitation will be carried on thereafter and production will start uh, probably um, in the next, for all you know, four to five years. Remember that uh, Uganda discovered their oil in 2006. Uh, it's just uh, in the later part of this year when uh, production will start in earnest. So preparation towards production takes a bit of time and it's important even as we prepare uh, for that stage um, for the citizenry of the region to appreciate that uh, it's a capital intensive uh, segment that takes a while to develop. All right, so managing expectations, that is okay, but do we know if uh, much of this oil is even commercially viable or these deposits are just that? Indications are that, um, early indications as you may have had in the subsequent uh, announcement that was made by the Prime Minister post the first initial announcement that was made on March, uh, I think, 26th or 27th, that uh, um, you know, uh, the reserves are actually uh, positive, but we require to get uh, official announcement uh, on the reserves, the real uh, content of the reserves, and really uh, the commercial uh, viability of what has been found in Gamia 1. But exploration activities continue, uh, and I'm sure we'll be kept updated as um, results, uh, confirmed results, uh, with uh, on, not only Talo, but also with the government of Kenya. Does the infrastructure exist in East Africa for the proper exploitation of oil? Sorry? Does the infrastructure exist, do you think? As you know, uh, exploration is one stage. Uh, production and marketing are another stage. So what happens is that uh, once um, you know, it's confirmed that indeed uh, the find is commercially vi viable and also the extent of the reserves, then what kicks in next is the development of the infrastructure in terms of uh, the pipelines, in terms of the refinery, in terms of the distribution depots, in terms of uh, transportation. Um, so it's, it's not um, correct to say that the infrastructure exists for this particular fine, but it is indeed uh, correct to say that uh, there has been so far um, developments towards um, a find, an imminent find. As you know, there's a lapse pro uh, project that is going on with a refinery uh, in Lamu. There's also an existing refinery in Kenya. Uh, which will probably need to be upgraded, upgraded once um, the physical properties of, of the find uh, are established. Also, as you know, in Uganda, there is now um, an intent uh, that has been confirmed to, to build a refinery. Um, and there has been uh, the pipeline uh, expansion um, intention by the East African communities uh, to Uganda. It's a question of just how quickly this infrastructure can be put in and also the harmonization of this infrastructure because as you know, it's very expensive for each of the countries to put up individual pieces of infrastructure. So it's about time uh, for the governments, the East African community governments to discuss uh, in earnest how best to harmonize the infrastructure so that we can uh, benefit from the economies of scale. It's always much cheaper when the infrastructure is harmonized. There was an opinion on Irene, a UN uh, body about oil, hope and fear. The criticism has always been every African country that discovers oil almost always falls into a precipitous decline of war, of conflict and things like these. Do you see this likely happening across East Africa? Uh, as you know, Larry, um, oil is an emotive um, um, natural resource. Uh, but as you know, it has also worked for the benefit of uh, countries, um, for the betterment of those countries. 
And I think all that is required and the opportunity that we have here with the fines and as we continue to determine the commercial viabilities of those fines is to draw up sound policies that will then um, uh, uh, help in the formulation of legal, regulatory and institutional framework that is able to support um, an upstream segment and to ensure that this segment does not uh, lead into any um, uh, curses but becomes more of a blessing. So it's a question of just they're putting in place the sound policies that has right. already started in the, in, in the countries, including Kenya. I'm sure everybody, you, oil marketers like yourself the, that you represent are looking at the oil price right now and very pleased with it. It has fallen to almost $80. But if we're going to become oil producing countries in East Africa, we, 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 we must hope that it keeps rising again, doesn't it? Uh, as you know, the only sure thing about the oil price is that it will either go up or down. It's uh, very <laughs> volatile uh, in nature. Yes. Um, obviously for us as a develop developing country and the fact that uh, we have suffered quite a number of uh, inf inflationary uh, disruptions as it were because of the price of oil, we are happy that the price of oil currently is uh, stabilized. Um, but it, even with the oil find, the fact that uh, there's a discovery does not mean that the oil price will go down, um, you know, immediately. As I mentioned, it's a process that takes uh, five to seven years to actually develop and benefit. Uh, once uh, it's determined what kind of uh, infrastructure will be put in place, what kind of uh, uh, agreement the producing uh, the, 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 the company that's producing and the government will draw up in terms of uh, the local supply of the uh, processed oil that has been uh, produced from the locally found crude. Right, we'll leave it there. Sante Sana, Wanjiko Manyara, General Manager, Petroleum Thank Institute of East much. Africa. Always a pleasure speaking with you.